Okay, welcome. So summary, you made it all the way back to the end. So the main important thing that I want you to get to, you know, when we're fact, when we're looking at equations, you know, y equals ax squared plus bx. The main important thing is setting this equal to 0 because we're going to want to use the zero product property when we factor. And remember, by factoring, we're taking our expression and rewriting it as a product of its factors. And to do that, we want to find what our values are going to share in common. And we know that you know, we're going to have to break down our a and our b and find the largest number that factors into both of them. And as well as in the, the equations that we're going to work on in this course, we know that both equations are also going to share a value of x. So we break that down. We factor that out. And usually, we're going to have an expression that's going to look something like this, px times um, x plus q, okay? um, where um, P is going to be a common factor of A and of B. And then Q would be you know, your other factor of B. But the main important thing when solving this is then, then we can use our zero product property. So we can set each of these both equal to 0. And then we can now use our inverse operations to solve for x for both these. And we're going to have um, our different solutions. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just kind of a good old summary of how to solve by factoring out your GCF. Thanks.